Pancake day is a weekly occurrence in my life. I just really like pancakes. I bought a four and a half kilogram bag of pancake mix capable of making 240 pancakes. We're not gonna use this today because we're making crepes. To make one batch of crepes, we're going to need one cup of flour, half a cup of water, half a cup of milk, a pinch of salt, one egg, and two tablespoons of butter. You're also going to need a saucepan, but not a sumsum. And I say you're because you're gonna need a saucepan. I'm not because I'm gonna be using a crepe maker instead. Still, not a sumsum. Seriously, not a sumsum. Not. Oh, shit. I'm gonna make crepes like this. I had to change my sleeves and put on some really protective pink sleeves because I don't want to burn myself on the crepe maker. I also swapped my hands out for tinier hands because my hands are pretty big and I didn't want to like burn them on the crepe maker. So now we're all set and ready to go. Once your hands are changed, your sleeves are changed, you're good to make crepes. is done, so now I'm going to decide what I want to put on my crepes. So I'm going to make three types of crepes, starting off with the lemon and sugar traditional, followed up by strawberries and milk chocolate. I know that's uh, chocolate and I know that's strawberry and I actually just dropped another bit of chocolate on the floor. And finally I'm going to make a white chocolate crepe. I should probably throw that bit of chocolate away. As I mentioned, I'm going to be using a crepe pan to make my crepes, which comes with a twizzly stick, which you use to twizzle around the stuff. So what we're going to do is pour the batter onto the crepe pan, then get this stick and sort of twizzle it round to make the big circular thin crepe across the whole pan. Then you watch the crepe, just, just watching it for bubbles, watching as the bubbles form over everything, then you know it's good to flip. And then, then we're gonna wanna start putting on our stuff. So in my instance, the first time around, I'm gonna put on some lemon and sugar. Then once it's been on there a little while, I'm gonna fold it in half, fold it over, flip it over again, fold it in half again, and boom, the crepe we're done. my finished crepes. They smell good and look good and I can't wait to try these. I added a little meringue to the top of the white chocolate crepe because it looked really lonely. Some cinnamon on top of the cinnamon crepe which surprised! Didn't even say I was gonna make one of those did I? But I did. Some milk chocolate and strawberries on top of the milk chocolate and strawberry crepe and then on top of the lemon and sugar crepe I added nothing because it's plain and non-creative and deserves nothing. <laughs> 